What's up, guys? Joel Benavides with the Block Squawk podcast and Twitch stream here. And um, I think we're going to do uh, something a little non-standard. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to release this on the uh, normal podcast on Anchor and Spotify, etc. Uh, but um, I did want to do kind of like a little bit of pre-market research. And so uh, I think I'll run you through a little bit of that process. I'm not sure how uh, comprehensive I'm going to be tonight, um, but I'm just going to kind of get my feel for what's going on in the crypto market and we'll do that together. Um, it may be uh, a little spotty in terms of, of my interaction uh, just because I'm going to be doing some uh, analysis and I'm gonna have my kind of uh, uh, head to the grindstone, uh, but we'll we'll see how it turns out. I'm always trying different stuff like this, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, right now, uh, we're looking at Coin360, and that kind of gives me an idea of of how things are going. It's also got like a little uh, 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 what you would call it um, a ticker down here. So I was talking about uh, Ripple and Forte from Cointelegraph, uh, Invesco blockchain ETF trading commences on London Stock Exchange. That was two hours ago from news.bitcoin. Uh, Ethereum's Prague Pow mining change to be considered for Istanbul upgrade. That's from Coindesk two hours ago. Paul Brody says Bitcoin has no practical use. That's from the Bitcoinist a couple of hours ago. Ethereum is not a security, said Pied Piper of Hamelin from Coin. CoinGape3, and that's a horrible name for a crypto new CoinGape, really, guys. Uh, Trezor response to Ledger report on vulnerabilities in its hardware wallets from Cointelegraph three hours ago. Ripple's X Spring helps launch a hundred million fund for game developers. Uh, I've always been kind of like, um, I got my money on Tron, guys, for as far as like gaming and stuff goes. But I'm really interested to see how. Uh, Tron develops outside of gaming, just like kind of in the regular internet world. SEC, SEC, SEC chairman confirms cryptocurrencies like Ethereum are not securities. News. Bitcoin, um, and that's reassuring in a lot of ways, guys. That uh, just keeps things like ETH uh, out of uh, certain regulatory um, pitfalls that we don't want to go down. Uh, but anyway, uh, as you can see, the market is uh, replete. In green right now uh, Bitcoin's only up about two points um, but let's see EOS is up five over five points Litecoin up uh, nearly seven points uh, XLM up nearly eight and uh, and so we got a lot of green going on um, Binance is up six points so that's kind of cool let's move on uh, let's do a quick squawk um, typically I'll go through the watch list. Uh, we can go through the watch list. Let's tear up the watch list real quick. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Uh, so gas coming in at 100 by the symbol GAS, trading at three and seven. That's up 42.28 points on the day, up 51 and a half points on the week. Uh, current. Uh, 24 hour traded volume was at 42.7 million. Electronium ETN in at 80, trading at 0 0.5 cents, up 5.24 points on the day, down 1.08 points on the week. 24 hour traded volume 185,000. Uh, Gemini dollar GUSD in at 66, trading at 1 and 2, up 0 0.72 points on the day, up 1.71 points on the week. And 24 hour traded volume was 3.1 million. Bytum BTM in at 58th, trading at 9.4 cents, up 2.95 points on the day, up 8.24 points on the week. 24 hour traded volume, 3.3 mil. Verge XVG in at 56, trading at 0 0.6 cents. You know what? I just want to skip through these. Um, uh, I'll, I'll point out on a couple that I like, but we're going to kind of make a quick jump up to the top 20. So. Um, I always thought that uh, Augur is an interesting platform just to, because of what it is, and um, so I think I think Augur's got a, a, a big future. So I'll, I'll point that out real quick. For, uh, Augur by the symbol REP is coming in at 42 uh, by market cap trading at $14.15. That's up 4.7 points on the day, up 11.69 points on the week, and 24-hour trade volume was uh, 4.1 mil. 
uh, Lisk LSK, uh, shout out to um, uh, my boys in uh, San Antonio, uh, trading at one and 40 cents. That's up 9.37 points on the day, up 10.9 points on the week, 24 hour trade of volume, 8.8 .8 mil. Uh, let's jump on up to Quantum QTUM in at 32, trading at 2 and 19, up 6.16 points on the day, up 6 points on the week, and 24 hour trade volume, 210.6 mil. Uh, Dogecoin by the symbol Doge in at 28th, trading at 0 0.2 cents, up 2.96 points on the day, up 1.83 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 20.7 mil. Uh, jump on up to, uh, let's see, let's do Ethereum Classic ETC in at 8th. Eight or sorry, 18th by market cap, trading at 4 and 31, up 1.9 points on the day, up 0 0.43 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 205.3 mil. Neo in at 17th, trading at 9 even, up 4.39 points on the day, up 2.54 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 263.3 mil. Uh, jump on up to Dash by the same symbol in at 15th, trading at 92 and 25, up 11 points on the day, up 11 and a half on the week, and 24 hour trade volume is 296.9 mil. Um, IOTA by the symbol MIOTA in at 14, trading at 28.9 points on the day, or I'm sorry, trading at 28.9 cents. That's up 4.36 points on the day, up 3.63 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 10.3 mil. Monero XMR in at 13th, trading at 52 and 26, up 5.37% on the day, up 4.08 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 59.9 mil. Bitcoin SV, BSV in at 12th, trading at 65 and 99, up 1.88% on the day, down 1.64 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 54.7 mil. Cardano ADA in at 11th, trading at 4.87 up 4.33 points on the day up 12.57 points on the week with a steady spark chart uh in the in the green and uh 24 traded volume today was 35.2 mil tron trx moving in the top 10 now guys tron trx in at 10th trading at 2.2 cents that's up 2.4 points on the day down 4.96 points on the week 24 traded volume 95.4 mil stellar xlm in at 9th trading at 10 cents that's up six and a half points for the day, up to 22.35 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 146.8 mil. Uh, jumping up to seven, Binance Coin BNB, and at seven, trading at 15 and a quarter. That's up 5.44% on the day, up 12.95 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 176.7 mil. Uh, EOS in at uh, fifth, EOS by the same symbol. Trading at 3 and 68, up 4.32 points on the day, down 1.27 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 1.7 billion. Litecoin LTC in at fourth, trading at 57 and 21, up 5.74% on the day, up 8.04 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 1.5 1, 1 billion. XRP in at third, trading at 31 cents, up 0 0.7 points on the day, down 1.03% on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 5. 148 million ethereum eth in its second trading at 134 and 42 up 1.8 points on the day down 2.1 points on the week 24 hour trade volumes 4.6 bill and of course bitcoin btc in at first trading at 3922 and 91 cents that's up one and one quarter point for the day uh, nearly up a uh, full percentage point for the week and uh, 24 hour trade volume bitcoin traded today guys in uh the vicinity of 9.6 billion dollars guys and uh that's gonna do it for us for uh the uh, uh coin market cap data uh readout from apogee crypto aggregated um what, what i was talking about in the beginning of the stream guys is that i was gonna be a little um sporadic with my uh conversation and commentary uh, just because this is uh, kind of like an impromptu uh, informal pre-market for me. So I am going to be doing some uh, reading. Uh, and uh, and so I'm going to go over a little bit of that. Uh, I use uh, occasionally use Crypto Panic as an aggregator just because it's very versatile. I can read like uh, trending stories versus recent stories. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to be uh, taking a quick look at Crypto Panic, guys. Give me a minute and I'll be back with you. Uh, making um, intermittent comments on, uh, on what we see. And you're welcome to read along with me. I'll be back in about a minute.
Alright guys, uh, so I was just looking at um, some of the most recent trending stories versus recent stories uh, and it looks like um, ETH is in play, uh, Tron's been in play this week uh, as has Ripple and to some extent IOTA and, um, and uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, talk on Ripple, uh, a lot of controversy on Tron but I mean that's nothing new for Tron. Tron has a lot of supporters and a lot of haters so which makes it really interesting i think um so let's uh let's take a look at those on the chart and uh we'll start out with bitcoin i'm gonna look at bitcoin uh through bitmex guys just because it's such a versatile training pl trading platform you know you can shorten and uh trade on leverage and all that stuff so tron's kind of kind of one of my faves um so in the grand scheme of things we're, we're still kind of in this ranging area i uh, can't really see with all the lines i got going on uh after that uh big dip in price that we had around uh november um we've kind of been ranging in this uh upper 3000s lower 4000s range so uh let's take a deeper look let's look at the one hour chart and, uh, and take a look at what we've been up to. Um, so last time I spoke with you, uh, we were kind of like in this upward trend. And I think right after I talked to you, I was kind of talking about this this um, 39.29 level uh, and wondering if it was gonna be able to break through. And it looks like it didn't. It didn't even make it to 39.29 or bounce off at the top. It just kind of crashed down below this, upper tre this uh, upward trend channel. And, uh, and we were in a downward trend uh, for a little while. It seems like maybe a few hours uh, we broke out of that, but it looks like we're just kind of moving back into this sideways action, uh, which points to uh, um, a bit of probably accumulation uh, from some major players and market makers. So, uh, you know, there's still time to buy cheap Bitcoin. Um, I was I was reading some of the articles on on trading view um, a couple of days ago and uh, you know I feel bad that I can't remember who it was that was saying it but it was a it was a kind of a compelling argument it was a bullish argument a long argument and um, it's basically uh, saying that uh, a Bitcoin because of its de deflationary nature and all sorts of stuff it's kind of got a binary outcome and it's either going to go to the moon or it's going to go to zero. Um, and, and it really makes sense. Uh, you know, it's got faith and, uh, and, uh, it's, it, it cannot, it, you can't make more of it. You can't print more Bitcoin guys. Um, uh, eventually we'll find a little more, but once we're maxed out, that's it. Um, uh, maybe one day, uh, we won't, um, we won't have to worry about losing Bitcoin. Um, you know, the technology is still in development, but we're never going to make more of it. Uh, so, um, but, you know, it's fungible. You know, we can break it down. We can use finite amounts of one Bitcoin. And so um, you're always going to be able to, to utilize it at different amounts. Uh, but I guess my point is that that article was basically saying that it's, I mean, it's, I, and if it doesn't go to zero and it probably won't uh, eventually it will acquire a decent amount of value um, we're gonna go back up uh, I still believe that uh, that's my own personal belief this is not financial advice or anything um, it just may take a little bit longer than we all anticipated in the uh, in the uh, starry-eyed days of 2017 um, so, but that's where we're at, and uh, it looks like we may be in accumulation for an amount of time longer. 
uh, we'll we'll continue to keep an eye on it. I mentioned earlier that yeah, these see these are the bull flags that we were forming in February, and uh, and so that was looking really promising. This line kind of shows uh, uh, the direction that the price was moving from closing price to closing price. Um, but anyway, uh, so there are some promising signs intermittently, but we're definitely still in this like uh, wider ranging. Um, price action and so uh, we'll we'll continue to keep an eye on it uh let's take a look at i think we're talking about tron i haven't looked at tron in a while actually i just kind of put tron on autopilot and went to sleep on that so let's take a look at tron uh against bitcoin since bitcoin is kind of steady relatively steady uh and let's look at it on binance see how tron has been doing That's interesting. You see this downward slope that we've been in for the last month, over the last month, really. Uh, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at Tron on the daily because I'm really interested to see um, money flow, stochastics, and uh, relative strength. Yeah, so... Uh, Yeah, so this may be, this downward action that we're seeing right now may be a bit of a retracement. Um, I am a little disappointed to see that it is um, moved below the 100-day. Uh, but the 200-day is still down here. And as as we see so often in crypto, you know, 90% 90, 90 retracement. So we'll see. Um, the stochastics and uh, money flow are approaching over sold territory uh, so we'll just have to keep an eye on that as well um, you know just out of curiosity let's take a look at Tron against the US dollar because I'm in really interested to see the variance there Yeah, it's not as obvious just because the dollar is more stable. So this is going to be kind of like a smoother version of that. Um, but it is, it is interesting to see that we're not as close to oversold territory against the dollar as we are against Bitcoin. So um, and then um, what else uh, we're looking at? Let's take a look at Ripple. I think I have Ripple up here. I mean, uh, Ethereum. Oh, there's there's XRP. Let's take a look at XRP. Yeah, still kind of flat on XRP against Tether on Binance. Let's take a closer look at at Rip. We'll move into the one hour. See if we can make any sense out of this. Yeah, definitely ranging. Uh, accumulative cons uh, consolidation type action so uh, it looks to be like a, a market-wide phenomenon as with so many other things so I guess the takeaway uh, for today guys is uh, gonna be stay tuned essentially stay tuned and uh, and uh, uh, get your your cheap crypto in theory cheap crypto uh, while you still can uh, because that may be ending up and of course set your stop losses guys you know what I mean uh, establish establish what you're willing to lose uh, and uh, and set those stop losses Uh, so that's gonna do it for me. Uh, it uh, it's the 12th of March uh, and it's 11:05 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, Universal Time uh, is gonna be the 13th of March on uh, at at 4:05.
406 UTC. Uh, so we're still in the uh, in the in the first days, um, but as so as, as we see so often, um, there may be some some uh, decent price action uh, come this Friday and Saturday. Uh, so we'll definitely be back on Friday Saturday to take a closer look at that. Maybe Friday night or Thursday night. Um, just to see how things go. Uh, I don't. I don't really have anything else for you guys today. Uh, as you can see, it's it's quiet. Hit me up on Twitter uh, if uh, if uh, you want to interact for whatever reason. Come on the podcast. Uh, tell me I'm full of shit. Whatever you want. Um, at Joel Benavides at J O E L B E N A V I D E Z. You can see this stream. Uh, when it comes on live on Twitch, that's twitch.tv forward slash block squawk. Um, same deal with anchor, anchor.fm forward slash block squawk. Block squawk is spelled B L O K S Q U A W K. And, um, and that's going to be it. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Uh, good luck trading and, uh, and we'll see you on the flip. Cheers.